Now a cosmetic charlatan who posed as a registered nurse and left a patient disfigured, Lydia says she needs corrective surgery that'll cost $50,000. Tonight she's speaking out to warn others. Hi, I'm Linda from Beautiful Body Clinics, registered nurse and busy working mum. Nurse Linda. Hello. Or should we call you lying, Linda? It was advertising itself as a medical clinic and as nurses, registered nurses. The fact that she'd marketed herself as a registered nurse, on face value, the average person would take that to be correct. I'd do anything to have my old, old physique back. Old. Lydia Devotee's scars aren't just physical. I felt really violated in that respect. She's bravely sharing her story to stop a cosmetic charlatan who turned her life upside down. I'm never going to be the same again, ever, when there was nothing wrong. At 56 kilos, all Lydia wanted was to remove a little fat from her hips, thighs and arms. What she got was this. $2,144. I would have given it to you if you were that desperate for, you know, wanting to take me on. You can take the money and leave me alone. The woman who did it, Linda Tiokas, a.k.a. Linda Pickett, owns beautiful body clinics in Melbourne's Barabin, seen here conducting a procedure called cryolipolysis or fat freezing. It was advertising itself as a medical clinic and as nurses, registered nurses. I did not want to use a beauty salon. I felt comfortable with a nurse as opposed to just a beauty salon. After all, as Linda's own advertisements put it, why risk your body with unqualified clinicians? All treatments are conducted by experienced registered nurses. She was dressed as a nurse and, you know, I think it's a medical clinic and it's a medical device. Soon after the procedure ended, Lydia says she was mortified, left with uneven lumps of fatty deposits on her arms and legs, her hips wildly uneven and concerningly her lymphatic system damaged. Doctors have told her it'll cost $50,000 in surgery to fix. I ended up with sort of a nerve, nerve pain that persists to this day. It was very, very painful. Something that was ex described as not painful was excruciating. What's worse, Lydia says, when she found out the woman that did this was an imposter. Hello. Hello. She's looking for Linda. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nurse Linda. Hello. Or should we call you lying Linda? Oh. Sam Cucciara from The Current Affair. Just a few questions about the patient you deceived and left her disfigured. Oh, look, um, I'm not prepared to talk about it. Please don't do this to me. You masqueraded as a nurse. It's a pretty serious I did, I thing. I didn't. I didn't. I actually have a Bachelor of Nursing and a nursing degree. What Linda didn't say is that she hasn't been registered to practice in more than a decade. She attempted to fix my um, hip, which she made worse. She applied like a, you know, a 15 minute treatment to it and made it worse. Um, after that, it was just a, 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 an avoidance game and the no accountability is just very, very, very nasty. Medical regulator APRA took Linda to court where she admitted to masquerading as a nurse, but she won't have a criminal record or a guilty finding recorded because her punishment was what they call a diversion. She agreed to make a donation to a hospital, pay $4,000 to her victim and pay the regulators legal fees. Lydia telling APRA that when she complained, fake nurse Linda told her... The industry is not regulated and there is no one to follow up. I am not a registered nurse. You if you're continuing... making accusations, please leave the... Well, process. actually, it was in the court. While she no longer claims to be registered, Linda now tells people... Hi, I'm Linda, Bachelor of Nursing and Busy Working Mum. Online, she loves showing off her degree, but doesn't love showing off this, a scathing review left by her victim since deleted. The sad thing about the industry is it's not regulated. You know, anyone can hold themselves out to be an expert at all sorts of procedures. People are at the mercy of who they get, the, who gets their hands on them. It's very sad. Lydia's lawyer, Tony Carbone of Carbone Lawyers, likens the industry to the Wild West. If you get treated by the wrong operator and then you've got complications and you want to rectify them, the real problem is that a lot of practitioners in Australia will not touch you. There's this thing around 
oh, if I try and fix you up, uh, I might get sued or joined in a proceeding. Thanks for making a mess. Thank you. Thanks for making a fool out of me. I will always have a reminder of what you've done. You violated that woman's trust. It's I not didn't. Very... I've got a Bachelor of Nursing degree. But she's not a registered a... nurse at the moment. Thank you. That's a lie, Linda. Lydia's lawyers told us they're preparing legal proceedings against Linda.